Currently about 2,500 meters up on a mountain in the Dolomites and it is insanely beautiful so of course we're going to be taking some photos but today what I wanted to talk about is a lens that I sold quite some time ago why I sold it and why I don't really recommend it for most people. I got into shooting prime lenses pretty early. I think my second lens that I ever bought was a 35 millimeter 1.8. And then I got a 50 and 85 and that kind of kicked off my obsession with using prime lenses because I really liked the look of them. Then about four or five years into my journey, I decided that I was tired of moving around all the time and I wanted a lens with a little bit more versatility. So I went out and I bought a 24 to 70 2.8. And not long after that, I would say about six to 12 months, actually sold that lens. Fast forward a few more years, I switched over to the Fuji system and I bought another 24 to 70 equivalent. It was actually a 16 to 55, but because it's a crop sensor, it's the same deal. And then once again, about a year later, I sold the 16 to 55. So you could say that I have given the 24 to 70 a pretty good chance, but it's just never been a staple lens in my bag. So why did I ultimately opt to sell my 24 to 70? Well, there are a few reasons, but I think the most important one is just my shooting style. Because I was so used to shooting with primes for such a long time, I was used to moving my feet in order to get the composition. And when I was shooting with the 24 to 70, I was either all the way zoomed out at 24 millimeters or on the telephoto and all the way zoomed in at 70. And you might be thinking, well, that's really good because you've got one lens, you've got two focal lengths to choose from. But the problem was that when I was shooting wide, I always wanted to go wider than 24. And when I was shooting on the telephoto end, I always wanted to go longer than 70. And there was hardly any in between. Now, I'm not saying that the 24 to 70 is a bad lens. Of course, if I only had one lens, it would have to be the 24 to 70. So I don't think it's bad, it's just not right for me and my shooting style. So what did I choose to do and what do I recommend for most photographers and filmmakers who want a really nice, well-rounded kit of lenses? More recently, for all my wide angle photos, I've been going with something like a 16 to 35 2.8 equivalent. Right now I have a 17 to 28, which gets the job done beautifully. And then for the telephoto, I picked up a 70 to 180 2.8. And then to fill in that gap between 28 and 70, I have a 35 and a 50 mil prime. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting a 35 and a 50. I would choose the one that you like more and go with that. And to me, this is a really versatile setup. You've got versatility on the wide end and the long end, and you've also got your standard low light option right in the middle. And and there's no real need for a 24 to 70. Most cameras these days have really high resolution, so cropping in from 28 millimeters up to that 50 millimeter mark is no problem at all. And the same thing with the 50. If I need a focal length that's exactly between 50 and 70, I can always use the 50 and just crop in. So after many, many years of shooting, I think I've found the setup that works really, really well for me, and it doesn't include a 24 to 70. But there is always a disclaimer because it depends on what you shoot and I have met so many creatives over the years that swear by the 24 to 70 and it's their bread and butter lens and they create beautiful images and power to them. I think one of the biggest challenges in photography is finding your style, finding your niche, finding out what you like and what works best for you. I know some of you guys would have definitely experienced this so let me know in the comment section down below which lens did you think you needed and then eventually sold once you realized you didn't.
Okay, with all that said, I think it's time to get off this mountain. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from my experience. If you did, or if you're just feeling generous, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe if you aren't already. A ludicrous amount of people who watch my channel aren't actually subscribed, so make sure you do that. It helps me out a lot, and I will see you guys in the next video.